Earlier today, Sunday, June 12, 2016, in Orlando, Florida, the United States had the worst mass shooting in history. 50 were killed and 53 were injured in what police say was a terrorist attack on the LBGT community. The Islamic State claims responsibility for the shooting, and the gunman was killed in the shootout between him and the police inside a gay bar. As of 7.07 p.m. Central Standard Time, the final death toll is not confirmed according to the Washington Post. My thoughts and prayers are for everyone affected by the shooting, and my thoughts and prayers are for their families. Like all mass shootings and terrorist attacks, it's almost impossible to put in words how horrific and cruel this whole situation is. The mind of this psychopath's head was not reasonable, was not ethical, was not moral, was not tolerant, and most of all not rational. His viewpoints towards the LGBT community shines through as hate so unreasonable and despicable that he posed a deadly threat towards those that are different. It's sad to know that the outcome may have been prevented since he was on the FBI watch list. Those who were killed today didn't deserve to die. No one deserves to die. But to be killed because of being themselves, enjoying life in this great country where they can be who they want to be, and not at all affecting anyone in a harmful way, is possibly, without a doubt, the most horrendous act of cruelty that I can think of. It doesn't matter how they died, as the act itself is enough to leave me speechless. It's a miracle that I'm able to speak to you about this horrific event in Orlando. The bottom line is these were innocent people who were having fun, but unknown of their deadly fate. What gave me shivers was this quote by Andy Carbon. The Orlando shooting, seen and just described as something I've never thought of, as investigators were inside the nightclub, where many of the bodies are still where they fell, they have to tune out the nightmarish sound of all of the deceased phones ringing constantly as loved ones try to reach them. This needs to be said. Radical Islam is real. You can't deny every event that happened involving ISIS or Al-Qaeda or whatever was just some asshole. They're already assholes, but they were also influenced by a religion that thinks wrongly of those who do not follow their religion. However, we cannot let fear overlook those who practice Islam peacefully. Not everyone believes in Islam that homosexuality is a sin. Not everyone believes that those who don't follow Islam deserves to die. This is also true for many of us Christians who practice it peacefully. The vast majority of people who practice Islam does not support this radical ideology. I don't want this video to be about religion, but it is important that I state this as a desperate plea for the United States citizens to not engage in violent activity towards peaceful Muslims. Unfortunately, my cry will fall on deaf ears for many of you. Nothing I can say will change your minds, so all I can hope for is a more unified relationship between not just the LGBT community, not just Muslims, but for all of us, to denounce violent activity in general. We need to understand and acknowledge who's our true enemy. We need to determine and execute tactics to avoid another devastating disaster. And above all else, show that this terrible event only brings all of us closer together. My thoughts and prayers again goes out to the victims of this shooting. Recorded June 12, 2016.